Till in 1921, the 15 year old former emperor of China, Pui, decided he wanted to have a telephone. His advisors were afraid it would give him too much independence since Pui usually had no contact with the outside world. But when he finally got his phone, he just used it to make prank calls. Hello, this is the emperor of China. Haha, <laughs> nice prank. 15 years old and already a former emperor? What am I doing with my life? The Last Emperor Great Movie Ok so now the Simpsons can have a plot idea for their 100th season. Bart makes friends with a political dignitary's kid. They prank call Mo and Mo finally catches the kid but not Bart. Only for him to get a beat down from security. There you go Fox, I just gave you an episode idea that does a call back to the old Simpsons. Imagine being prank called by the Emperor. Trolling level, Chinese Emperor. Looking at his Wikipedia article, that may have been one of the few remotely fun times in his life. What a Lil Dickens. Classic teenage boy. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Hello. Mr. Mel. Is your icebox running? Hello, is who there? Who, who? What are you an owl? Click. Hello, is Mr. Hunt there? First name Mike, his first call was to Mao's Tavern. I'm just imagining Ji Yang's calls to Ehrlich. His advisors were afraid it would give him too much independence since Pui usually had no contact with the outside world. Why am I not surprised? Pui was a bizarre and sometimes, insane man. This is how he entertained himself when he was emperor as a child. Pui later said, Flogging eunuchs was part of my daily routine. My cruelty and love of wielding power were already too firmly set for persuasion to have any effect on me. Backslash 10 backslash, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash pui hashtag site underscore note bear underscore 1987 underscore p. 74 to 13, the British historian Alex von Tunzel Mann, https colon slash slash en wikipedia org slash wiki slash alex underscore von underscore tunzel man wrote that most people in the west know pui's story only from the 1987 film the last emperor https colon slash slash en wikipedia org slash wiki slash the underscore last underscore emperor underscore film which downplays pui's cruelty considerably Backslash 12 backslash, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash pui hashtag site underscore no tunzel man 15. By age 7, pui had two sides to his personality, the sadistic emperor who loved to have his eunuchs flogged, expected everyone to kowtow to him and enjoyed puppet shows and dog fights, and the boy who slept at night with Wang, suckling her breasts and content to be loved for just once in the day. Backslash 13 backslash, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash pui hashtag site underscore note 16, Wang was the only person capable of controlling pui, once, pui decided to reward a eunuch for a well done puppet show by having a cake baked for him with iron filings in it, saying, I want to see what he looks like when he eats it. Backslash 10 backslash, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash pui hashtag site underscore note bear underscore 1987 underscore p. 74 to 13, with much difficulty, Wang talked pui out of this plan. Pui's life was an interesting and tragic affair, a few people in his circle have written books about him and that era probably the best being Twilight in the Forbidden City by Reginald Johnston, Pui's English tutor. Pui himself wrote a book called From Emperor to Citizen it is also pretty good but glosses over some of the more sordid details, the other book worth reading is My Husband Pui, The Last Emperor of China this one is written by his last wife and is an interesting account of the man's final days. Other notables from the era. Manchu Princess, Japanese spy a book about Yoshiko Kawashima, this one is fascinating. And Guo Bro Ka Wan Rong, The Last Empress of China a book about his first wife who died in prison, this book is depressing as fuck but full of information. 
Pui history would be a hell of a movie. He collaborated with Japanese invaders in WW2 because he thought his monarchy could be restored, however Japan lost and he was arrested. After spending a few years in prison, surprisingly the communists spared his life and said he was free to go, but with one condition, he would live a life just like any regular China citizen, no properties, no titles, no privileges. Because his life was so privileged and always had servants to cater to most of his needs, he was very clumsy living alone, frequently losing his keys, forgetting his way home and not being a bossy asshole. So, being a typical 15-year-old. My favorite Pui story is that later on in life he had the job of sweeping the streets, and got lost on his first day of work, which led him to tell astonished passers-by, I'm Pui, the last emperor of the Qing dynasty. I'm staying with relatives and can't find my way home. Worst things a 15-year-old with near unlimited power could do. Emperor, is your refrigerator running? Person, I know this is you, Pui. Cut that shit out. Emperor, but how did you know it was me? Person, only you and I can afford a phone. Hi. Is there a MR? Jas there? First name is Hugh. Imagine the level of trolling he could do. Hello this is the Emperor of China and I am calling for a serious manner, screw her mom. Hello, is this six? Yeah, one calling, your mom is fat. I found the last Emperor of China to be fascinating and mostly factful. It encouraged me to read up on Pui, the Qing Dynasty, the Republic of China, Taiwan, the Communist Party, etc., etc. If you find this interesting, there is a great movie about it called The Last Emperor with Peter O'Toole. HTTPS colon slash slash en. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash the underscore last underscore emperor. It's not actually that funny when you realize he was an incredibly sadistic person who treated his servants like dog shit just because he could. He was also famous for occasionally going pee pee in your coke. I've been told that he would inform you that he did indeed urinate in your Coca Cola. Hello, yes, is your refrigerator running? Okay, you better go catch it, ha 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 ha, hang up. Hello, this is the Emperor, I have no clothes. Hello, roofing. This is Frank Rizzo. R I Z Z O. HTTPS colon slash slash M. YouTube. Com slash watch. V equals RUVVPV2ZWS. Hey, it's the Emperor. Is your refrigerator running? I'm looking for a person, last name Kiss, first name Amanda. So basically, the Chinese equivalent of. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes, we do. Well, why don't you let him out? And then guffaw till your sides split. Due to his sheltered upbringing, Sixi and then his advisors wanted to remove any foreign influence, Pui was very immature, and then became an opium addict and puppet of Tokyo. Wait was he a former emperor at age 15, or did you mean he was emperor at the time but is a former one now? Hello. Yes is your refrigerator running? Hello. May's Tavern. You're speaking with me. Dude's story was sad as hell. Not in the crying way but more of a pity way. Imagine being the emperor and getting everything you want but not really being happy until you are in your 50s and 60s. Is this a America? Warren G. Harding is a dead. Fucking legend. Emperor Pui lived a fascinating life unlike that of any other humans before him or since. I invite you to Google his Wikipedia page, you will be shaking your head in amazement and disbelief. 15-year-old former emperor? He peaked way too soon. Must have been disorienting. The Last Emperor is one of my absolute favorite movies, I love knowing this information. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. I'm looking for a huge as. Pui, hello, can I speak to Mr. Lee. First name Hung. Receptionist, call for Mr. Hung Lee. Calling MR. Hungly, please call Recept. God damn it, Pui. Typical teenager. 
Emperor Bart Simpson. Hello, is your refrigerator running? Dude, WTF is a refrigerator. A man before his time. Imagine what he could have done if he had Twitter. I'm jealous of how he was 15 and emperor. Wait, was he the former emperor of China when he was 15? Too bad it was in the time before refrigerators. Hi this is Emperor Appliances, is your refrigerator running? Yes. You better go catch it. Is your refrigerator running? Do you have Prince Albert in? Ken. Oh I miss those days. Kids are kids are kids. Hello, is Mouse there? Mousey who? Mouse who? Do you have General Cho's chicken? Yes. Then you better give it back to him. Cursing. Imperial giggling. Click. So. How many people were killed under his command? Imagine getting a prank call from a literal god. Too much independence. That's the most China thing China can do.